Toyota Tacoma bug and stone deflector, effective or just a gimmick? Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. So is the Toyota Tacoma bug and stone deflector, this piece right here, effective or is it just a gimmick? What I have on mine, it is the WeatherTech bug and stone deflector, so you would expect it to deflect bugs and stones. Now, more specifically, why I got this was to deflect stones you can wash bugs off, right? Off of my windshield and my hood, but primarily my windshield. Down here in South Texas, you can't go anywhere without seeing cracked windshields because stones are flying all over the place on the roads. Now, this thing is pretty simple to put on. I had looked at some others. They were glue on, double-sided tape, all kinds of craziness. These actually come with screws and little inserts that bolt in or screw in right into existing holes already in your hood. You just put the little nylon insert behind and then screw it in. Can't beat it for installation. Very, very simple to do. Now, on the edges, they do provide this little nub. Let's see if you guys can see here. And I never understood why, but here's this little nub. It's just a little stick on um, rubberish, silicone-ish kind of thing that you're actually supposed to put down on the paint on the truck itself. I would highly suggest that you do it the way that I did it and put it on the deflector itself. I don't like sticking stuff to my paint. So anyway, it's an easy bolt-on application and I think it looks pretty darn good on the truck. You guys can see here what it looks like. I think it adds a bit to the truck. Some people like them, some people don't. But irregardless of that, the whole point is, is to keep bugs and stones off of your hood and your windshield. So how does it work? Well, it's pretty simple, right? If things fly up at your truck, they're supposed to hit this as opposed to your paint or be redirected away from your windshield. You know, have you ever seen hoods that have a bunch of divots and things in them? Looks like little miniature meteorites kind of hit the hood and then slid across a bit. That's what this is supposed to eliminate. And also to keep those little meteorites from going on through and hitting your windshield. Now, how's it been doing for me? Has it been effective? Well, all I can say is, is since I put it on, I haven't had any chips in my windshield. Uh, I haven't had anything even hit my windshield, which is exactly what my goal was in putting this thing on. Now, is it coincidence? I don't know. I will say that every other vehicle I've had has had a chip or a crack in the windshield. My Tundra, not this one, not the one I have now, the previous one, I traded it in with a crack in the windshield. My wife's Jeep Wrangler has several little chips in the windshield. I had a Honda, it was a Civic uh, Sport hatchback. It had a chip in the windshield. So I would say so far, it's more than just coincidence or good luck. Now, obviously, if you're behind somebody, first of all, stay the heck away from them, especially if you live in South Texas or an area that is prone to stones flying all over the place particularly on the freeway. You know, when it happened to be in my Tundra, I hadn't had that truck very long, several months maybe, and I was driving down the freeway and I was staying back. There was a great big tanker type truck. It was in the far right lane. I was over in the far left lane, consciously aware of stones flying around. I was trying to stay away. It didn't matter. He threw up a stone, it headed my way, and of course it hit my windshield and I had a crack. Now, one other thing I wanna mention, you know, there's all those little kits out there that you can get uh, to self-repair your windshield. I have tried those. 
They make it look so good. When you look them up online and stuff, people have them on. They have a little syringe-like thing that kind of shoots silicone down into the crack. It fills the crack. It dries. You can't see anything. No. Now, as far as they go, useful, effective, or a gimmick, I would call them a gimmick. I never had one work, not well. They work, but they don't completely hide the crack. In the or Tundra that I had, they didn't even stop the crack. So I think it just depends. Maybe you get lucky, maybe you don't. So with this thing, it will stop anything, obviously, that comes up here and hits in this area. I mean, obviously, if you're driving down the road and a stone is thrown up and it's up here somewhere, you know, airborne up here, that little meteorite traveling through the atmosphere, it's not going to stop that. It's not like it reaches up and grabs the stones and bugs, right? It's still going to continue on and smash into your windshield. So it's obviously not a foolproof or in every situation deterrent or elimination of rocks and uh and bugs so it's not going to stop everything but my philosophy on that is is if i can get rid of just a few that one might have been the one that was going to give me a great big crack in the windshield and now i have to screw around with that the other thing i want to mention about windshields you know a lot of people had said back when i had the other one that i should just call my insurance company they'll replace it for free Nothing is free. If you have coverage on your windshield, you're paying for that every month. What you have to decide is that 50 bucks or 40 bucks or whatever it is that you're paying, worth it. You know, how many windshields can you buy or replace before you exceed the cost of a windshield in the amount that you're paying? That's insurance, right? It's a business. They're in it to make money. If they couldn't make money, they wouldn't do it. So I never have carried that kind of insurance before. I am now, I caved, I thought, okay. And of course, since I added it to my policy several months ago, I haven't had any issues in any truck. Now, I will say I'm only carrying it on my wife's Wrangler and the Toyota Tundra because the Tundra has such a humongous windshield and because my wife insisted that I do it on hers. You know how that goes, right? So no issues. Is it a gimmick or is it effective? For me, it's been effective. For the cost of it, I think it was like 79 bucks or something like that. I don't think you can beat it for insurance, peace of mind. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Now that I've made this video, there'll probably be another one coming up with some humongous crack in my windshield. I hope not. Fingers crossed. Anyway, if you've got one of these on the front of your truck, let me know, is it effective or is it a gimmick? How has it been for you? I would be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra, and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.